Hi everybody, this is Susie, and welcome to another Design Team video for Shabbylicious, an online Zibet.com store where you can find all of your beautiful laces and embellishments for crafting and other decor needs. Um, I'm here today to share with you another project that I made, which I was using this as my focal point, and this is the Susanna brooch that you can find on Zibet.com. This brooch is $5. Ladies, you are not finding a price like that for a brooch like this anywhere. It's absolutely gorgeous, and the best part, it's all metal. The brooch is metal. That's right, friends, it is not plastic. So that's one thing to take into consideration because you can wear this on your clothing, on your purse, on your lapel, wearing it in the middle of a blouse, wearing it on a beautiful long gown if you just want to trim it up and not wear a necklace with some pearl earrings. This is totally versatile. You can use it for anything, including your crafting. So um, I'm not going to keep going any further about the Susanna brooch, even though it is the focal point of this project and so absolutely gorgeous. And just to let you know before I continue that if you go to zibet.com slash Lineker and the links will be in the drop down box below so you can just click on it and it will direct you right to the store. Don't forget when you go and buy something to type in the word Susie. That's my name, and you're going to get a discount of 10% off your total purchase. Okay, ladies, so without further ado, here is my beautiful project. And this is an absolutely gorgeous bridal heart. I made this uh, with the intentions of making it as a sample to show uh, someone who is looking for the, the ring pillow for the wedding. This is a very large pillow with the lace and all across. Would be from your middle fingertip to your elbow in size, uh, life size, if you were here to see it life size. And I actually have this um, standing on, on a dress form so that you don't miss how it looks. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to share with you what I've used uh, one by one. Uh, so that you can go ahead and see and I will list everything in the drop down box below so that you can go ahead and go on over and get this for yourself. How about this netting? Is this not so absolutely beautiful? It does not come gathered. It comes straight so you can do whatever you want with it, cutting it up for making flowers, adding it on to the ruffle of sleeves uh, or the, the, a neckline of a tank top for the summer. Very pretty, very sheer. Uh, it's beautiful and I love the design. It has little dots that square off into squares with um, kind of just like a mesh. Very, very lightweight, very soft, very beautiful, but yet it's soft yet stiff enough to use for a project like this. And what I did was is I just did a running stitch and pulled it, uh, pulled it all the way around the heart, um, and then I sewed it to the heart. Um, and I also used this really very beautiful, beautiful trim. It's kind of like, it looks like shells all around the outside uh, that form uh, to a really pretty little rose or a daisy up on top if you would hope you can see that clearly um, there we are okay really very pretty um, again and that one I sewed around as a trim to cover the uh, sewing of the um, the netting behind that um, and as you can also see here I have made the heart out of white muslin solid white muslin a very nice cotton and stuffed it uh, very nicely so the pillow is very firm okay um, and this here that you see that's on here is actually a really big piece of lace that I'm going to show you in a few minutes um, and inside um, all of these little small daisies that come from that one wide piece of lace. I added very small rhinestones to the inside of every single embroidered daisy. Very beautiful. Those are all connected with strands of fabric that um, flow out to leaf shapes that are absolutely beautiful and then the entire piece of lace flows out to very big rose uh rose styled uh daisies 
very very beautiful and um, as you can see that I've added rhinestones in all of them and I also use these really small little flower doodads that are white pearlized and stuck a little rose a little um, rhinestone in the center of that very pretty and then what I have over here which I'm just gonna come on over and show you if you can see these little uh, metal type roses which I've used um, the uh, sorry about that the metal uh, f the metal pieces that I had gotten from Lily's design team kit um, I actually uh, sculpted that with my pliers believe it or not I was trying to utilize more of the items that I have in one project without overbearing it or making it look gaudy somewhat so I made that um, flower style type of metal object and I had glued that onto the heart and I stuck a pearl in the center in white which is really very elegant. I love the way it came out. It's a little sharp uh, to the touch. That's only because the corners are sharp. Um, the way I squeeze them with the pliers. But again, this is this project is just for me. But in the event, if you're looking to turn that into some type of a ring or anything else, you can simply just sand it with an emery board on the edges and you're good to go. Um, I made a couple of those. Um, this one also here is on a different angle. Um, I can just pick that up and show it to you. Let me just, um, my camera does not focus on its own. You have to focus for, focus for it. So I'm hoping that you can see that. Let me, I want to, I don't want to be blurry. So there it is. If you can see, um, that used to be a square but not anymore and I took a flat back pearl and put it in that one because that was quite large and then I also have another one like the one I showed you in the beginning right there also hanging on an angle I don't have it glued down really tight I wanted it to look like it was falling down I wanted it to look dainty feminine and elegant um, I, I wanted it to have that weak side to it where it just kindly, it just kind of um, falls down. And um, on the flip side of this heart, I, I have it hanging by a piece of seam binding. And then I put a seam binding bow and one of Lily's flowers here at the bottom, which has a little tiny rhinestone in it. Very elegant, very feminine, very pretty. Um, and as you can see... Um, I purposely left the back of this to show you um, that that's how the front of it would have looked if I wouldn't have covered it with that second trim. And so being that I didn't have any more of the second trim left, I decided to leave it blank, you know, empty on the back side so that I can show you how nice the other lace that I used covered so well if you plan on making a heart for yourself or any other um, item using these two laces, how lovely they um, go so well together and they just complement each other even though they are totally a uh, different style and look and shimmer from each other they complement each other so nicely because everything from this store is nothing but elegance and beauty and again focusing on the Susanna brooch just absolutely stunning so beautiful and gorgeous I totally love it so now I just want to show you quickly because I try to keep everything together that I've used um, if I have any left which the mesh I don't have any left at all but I want to show you what I went ahead and used now over here on the bottom that's the lace trim that's around the heart and you can see how so pretty that is it's so dainty yet it makes a statement because it's got like these scalloped shells and a lot of us like to make flowers and cut up our our trims and so on and it's really easy to go ahead and do that with this one if you'd like to and um, I'm going to also go ahead and show you the base of this heart that has the base of this heart that has all of these really gorgeous little daisies, that is what I used. It's very wide. I'd say it has to be at least 
about five inches wide or maybe a little bit more. I'll put the link to this in the drop down box below as well. So uh, you can go ahead and get some available, uh, some for yourself if it's still available, um, which if it may not be at that exact moment, um, I'm sure that it will be in as soon as possible. Lily's service is very, very quick. And she's got a bunch of gorgeous new stuff that's in the store. So I really do hope that you can go on over and check out and see what she has. And uh, that she's just stocked in along with the other beautiful items that she already has. And so um, I'm just looking for... I'm sorry, I'm famous for never being ready on my videos. But you can hear me rumbling through. I have... All of my design can kit in a separate box um, where I can um, go back and just pull everything so I don't have it I don't have it mixed in with all of my other crafty things but I just wanted to show you these you see these um, these beautiful pieces that I created here, I thought that was really creative to go ahead and take something and turning into turning it into something else. But they come like this. You'll see it. And you see, that's what I did. I wound up bending the corners. If anybody's interested in seeing how I did that, if you want to see a tutorial of some kind, um, I don't really know if anyone would be interested in it, but I can certainly go ahead. Um, these are the other little flowers that I put rhinestones in. So very pretty. The doodads. Really adorable. Everything from Lily's shop is all with an elegant touch. Feminine, of course, um, shabby. And I do have to say that you don't only use these items just to you know glue on a box or a tag or whatever you can really get carried away with other home decor and gifts and such so I really hope that you um, like this project that I put together today for you it kind of looks like it's um, on an angle in the video but it's really not because I have it hanging from something that's not tall enough but that was the closest thing that I could find to be in picture so um, again, when you shop at Zibet.com, the store link will be below. Don't forget to mention Susie uh, when you're done wrapping up your project so that you can go ahead and get your discount and um, enjoy all of the beautiful things that Lily carries in the Shabbylicious shabby shop over at Zibet.com. And this is, again, my beautiful heart. And you see how shimmery, how beautiful. And this is on a flat, um, flat muslin cotton which there's no shimmer or shine to it look how gorgeous the lace stands out that's what i love about it it's white on white and it's still absolutely stunning and you see there comes that beautiful and i put a dark background on purpose it's kind of almost like a, a mauve um a mauve piece of silk that's back there um, and I wanted you to to see how beautiful the lace would look against a darker color and uh exactly how the lace looks, the scallops, um, the beautiful mesh, the flowers, everything just really stunning. So thank you so much, friends. Please go to my Facebook page and my blog for Still Life Pictures um, of this beautiful heart, and you'll find all the information in the drop-down box below right here to Shabbylicious Store. Stay tuned and please subscribe to Suzy Crafter. I really appreciate all of your comments and your support and love everybody. Thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Blessings to everybody. Bye.